Coffee sings care ball in a life, man. But I know that all of us sitting here have shed some real tears. <laughs> because on this journey, we all went through it. Now, some might say cried through it, laughed through it, fought through it, or maybe you fling your shoulder and stir fry through it. <laughs> However we got through this journey, there were still moments in which we questioned ourselves. And so for example, a show of hands, who remembers those hacker ranks in first year computing? <laughs> I think some of us are still trying to solve the Laylogs algorithm. Or for our math students, let's talk about the never ending problem papers. <laughs> But we also have some famous words from Dr. Morgan. As we all know, maths is stronger than... <laughs> now, there is one word that across, all of, that across some of our departments you can't escape. And that word is labs. <laughs> some of us had two hour labs. Some of us had four hour labs. Some of us had six hour labs. <laughs> and with each lab came weekly lab reports. Now, for a civil engineering student, who remembers the geomatics course when you're taking measurements on the road and have to step out and direct traffic same time? Or, as, or other engineers who had to cross their fingers, hoping that electricity wouldn't go before the 3D print of your enclosure is finished. Whether it was the days volunteering by the sports medicine clinic, early morning training sessions by the bowl, or the presentations on popular culture and gender policy reviews in IGDS, we all had moments in which we wondered if we could really make it to exactly where we are sitting today. But here we are. We made it. Every one of us should be proud. We are a class of graduates from three different faculties and an institute, each quite diverse in thought and training, but sharing the distinction of possessing greatness. In front of me sit future scientists, gender advocates, engineers, sportsmen and women, all constituting a resilient and impressive set of emerging leaders. We survived the same deadline pressures and conquered exam season anxiety. We overcame financial issues, and as everyone knows, we thrived despite a global pandemic. Our year group only got the freshest experience for a semester and a half. In a flash, we watched as the world changed before us, forcing us to change as well. The struggle to find our classes on the spine became a fear of losing Wi-Fi or a temperamental device that shows the blue screen of death right as you're about to submit your assignment. <laughs> this period has taught us the importance of online etiquette. Every class now started with the famous Zoom words. Can everyone hear me? Yeah. Uh, is everyone seeing my screen? Yeah. <laughs> In fact, I remember being in a class and my lecturer sheepishly asked, which student has the username too cute for life? Is that on your birth certificate? From Auntie Jackie's stall on the spine, morning patties from Juicy, a Whopper cheese combo from Burger King, and corn dogs from Nardo's, it, <laughs> it all became distant memories. Many of us logged into online classes from all over the world as we found an inner discipline and strength that we didn't know we had. When you think about it, you realize that this year group has been tested more than any before it, and so can only be more resilient and more ready to face the world's challenges. <laughs> we took on the wings of change, and though they may have altered the path, they never altered our destination. Resilience and adaptability have become second nature. This is who we are. Last year, I had the pleasure of being elected to serve as your guild president, <laughs> running on the slogan, one of us for all of us. 
It gave me the opportunity to see just how much it took to effectively operate the Mona campus and just how hard our administrators are working even when we don't see it. Today we are thankful to them, our senior administrators, lecturers, tutors, faculty members, hall administration, and our security and ancillary staff. You taught us not only about academia, but also life, and this has enabled us to proudly walk across the stage today. For students, I learned that we come from all social backgrounds and perspectives. Did you know that a whopping 70% of us are the first in our families to attend university? <laughs> If you're one of these students, a first-generation student, please raise your canister high and wave them as we all applaud you. The unwavering support of our parents, family, and friends kept us going throughout our years here. To all our loved ones, thank you. We are eternally grateful. Finally, my key takeaway was that as students, we are stronger together, as there is far more that unites us than divides us. I saw the impact that collective and collaborative advocacy could have on a community. It reminds me of something that someone once said to me, and I'll share it with you now. He said, when university students take themselves seriously, they become a deep well of electrifying potential, waiting for the day that they can be unleashed on our Caribbean society. Well, my fellow graduates, today is that day. Let's get to work building a society founded on equity, resilience, and sustainability, where there's adequate funding for our athletes, and we prioritize the physical and emotional well-being of our people, where we engineer innovations that champion environmental sustainability and prove truly accessible for all, regardless of gender or socioeconomic background. A society in which women are encouraged to be in STEM, sports, and leadership. Let it be known that the class of 2022 is coming to make good trouble and spark a revolution of the good kind. <laughs> My fellow graduates, don't underestimate your light, no matter where it rises from. Always remember your worth and display your full potential. Never forget that even in the face of unprecedented circumstances, we have proven that we're not normal. A lie? We are rich in innovations and ideas. A lie? We are powerful pelicans, ready to fly on those wings of change like never before. And so I close in the profound words of local poet Romario Ricketts, also known as Lali. Pelicans, I charge you now to go forth, take flight, and let go the bird. Thank you.